So, let us solve one more problem. Evaluate limit extends to 0 e power 3 plus x minus e cube by x. So, now e power 3 plus x we have to write as e cube multiplied by e power x. So, we can take e cube common out then we have e cube times e power x minus 1 by x limit extends to 0. Limit extends to 0 e power x minus 1 by x is 1. So, e cube into 1 is answer is e cube. Okay? So, let us do, let us observe the solution of this problem. Solution limit extends to 0. e power 3 plus x minus e cube upon x. So, we have the formula. What is the formula? a power m plus n equals to a power m into a power n. So, this is one of the formula in algebraic formula. So, now this can be written limit x tends to 0 this can be written e cube into e power x minus e cube upon x. So, now what shall we do? From numerator shall we take out e cube common? Yes, let us take e cube common. So, if we take e cube common, we get limit x tends to 0. So, e cube common. So, what do you get now? e cube times e power x minus 1 upon x. Am I correct? Being e cube is constant, let us take it common. So, e cube is taken common out. So, we get now e cube times limit x tends to 0 e power x minus 1 by x. Do you expect the value of limit x tends to 0 e power x minus 1 by x? Yes, as it is one of the standard limits, so that we can write directly 1. So, it is replaced by 1. So, we get e cube times 1. So, this equals to e cube. So, this is the answer. So, let us do one more problem on limits. Evaluate limit x tends to 3 e power x minus e cube by x minus 3. So, just take out x cube common and apply the limit, we will get the answer. So, very simple. So, let us solve the problem. Solution limit x tends to 3. Okay. e power x minus e cube upon x minus 3. First, let us take out e cube common. So, if we take e cube common, we get limit x tends to 3 e cube common. We have e power x by e cube minus 1 upon x minus 3. See how does it appear e power x by e cube? Yes, the one of the theory of indices formulae has to be recalled. The formula is as follows a power m by a power n equals to a power m minus n. Am I correct? So, using this formula, now e power x by e cube can be written as e power x minus 3. Am I correct? So, let us write it limit x tends to 3. So, e cube is taken common out we have e cube times e power x minus 3 and minus 1 upon x minus 3. So, now e cube is constant 
So, we can write like this e cube times limit x tends to 3 e power x minus 3 minus 1 by x minus 3. Now, we can change the limit without changing its identity. As x approaches to 3 means x minus 3 approaches to 0. So, we can write e cube times limit x minus 3 tends to 0 e power x minus 3 minus 1 by x minus 3. How does it appear? Just if you replace the x minus 3 by x, limit x tends to 0 e power x minus 1 by x that is nothing but 1. So, we get now e cube into 1. So, this equal to e cube, this is the final answer.